da, da, da. Da, da, da. I wanted to show one detail with brick veneer with steel stud backing, and um, this is a good opportunity to do it. This is a where you have a ribbon window or a very long span of masonry, and you need to support the brick from the structure. Uh, in this case, we have we have bracing that goes back to the underside of the composite deck. And then we've got these vertical angles every 24 inches or something uh, that are that are fastened with a uh, bent plate to the to the girder. OK, so this is um, if you have an unusual span as a, like a brick soffit or like I said, a ribbon window uh, or something like that that you need to support. So this is a proprietary, somewhat of a proprietary wall. I mean, you could do it with different materials, but steel stud backing. In this case, it's a poly ISO insulation with a facer that is used as the sheathing and as the insulation. Now, in this case, there's twice as many fasteners because the carpenters now have to fasten the insulation to uh, to the studs, and then the bricklayers also have to use their wall ties and hit a stud with their with their veneer ties. So it's a little bit of a coordination issue, um, you know, trying to avoid the the fasteners that the carpenters already put in. Uh, also, steel studs relative to concrete block backing are not as stiff. Um, they are susceptible to seismic loads and to buckling under under wind loads and things like that that you would just never get with block. Oh, and then a little bit different type of wall tie, yeah, uh, that goes into the flange of the stud.